Hey, stop it. What? Why? If you want to touch your partner, first slow down. Take a deep breath. Feel your feet on the ground and touch them from your heart. Hmm. That feels much better. So let's talk about touch. So, mm -hmm. one of the things that most people don't know is that touch is a form of communication. Right. Most people don't really think about how do I touch people, mm -hmm. and especially how do I touch my partner. They just go ahead and do that. Right. But different touch transmits different messages. Right. right. And so there's different qualities of touch, different ways to touch someone. Right. And it gives a different message and you have to learn to pay attention to that. And especially when it comes to your partner and you want to do it well, right. you want to create closeness and intimacy and passion, <laughs> you need to learn how to touch each other. Right. So think about it. That's uh, when you come and hug your partner, you hugging them in a certain way, probably much more close and connected, maybe more intimate versus when you go and hug your friend or when you go and hug your mom, right? So there is a different qualities mm -hmm. of hugs when you um, want to create connection and we want to invite you to pay attention to how you come into it, what it's create, what's the energy that you bring. So naturally you already know, right? If you touch right. your, your friend or your, your partner, you're doing it differently. You already know that there are different types of touch. Right. You won't touch your, or you, know, you won't hug your mom as you hug your partner, right? right. You definitely don't want to do that. But we want to give you also some specific things or specific ways that you want to do right. when you're touching your partner, when you want to do a touch that really creates closeness and love and intimacy. Yeah. So first, as we just saw, when Gal just came over and touched me, which he still does sometime in our real life, <laughs> um, because, you know, he's busy, but he wants connection. So he just come with all his busyness and downloaded on me. And it's like, hey. That, it doesn't feel good. It really doesn't feel good. But I know his intention. I want, he really wants connection. So really, first of all, be present. When you come to your partner and you want to touch them, be with them. Clear your mind for a moment. It's like, okay, I want to create connection. Let's slow down. Right. If you think about something else, you're not really present. Right. right. Or also feel your body a little bit for a moment. Just like Leon was saying. Put your feet, feet, your feet on the ground. Notice yourself. So you're getting more inside of your own body. Right. And it will create more of an embodied touch. Right. And as I also kind of like mentioned, connect from your heart. Touch from your heart. That's required you slowing down and finding your heart first. And then loving your partner, ascending that love energetically from there. So it comes from your heart, through your hands, to their body. And that it, that feels and it felt so much better to have him just like connecting to himself, grounding himself, clearing his mind and being finding his heart and being loving toward me. Just felt mm -hmm. like, ah, I yeah. want to continue forever. Yeah. So you can think about your hands as an extension of your heart. Right. You know, I love so that. instead of like, I'm yes. touching you with my hands, I'm actually touching you with my heart. Mm. And when you think about it, you immediately will get softer. That's it. Right? And you'll, you'll bring more of a loving energy to your touch. Yes. And then the third aspect of touch is also be attuned. Mm -hmm. So you have to also not just do it because you want to do it, but feel where they are. Right. right? So if I'm massaging her, for example, I want to pay attention. How's her body doing? Mm -hmm. How does she actually feel inside? Where is it tense? Where is it relaxed? Right. right? So you want to be attuned to your partner and notice like what's happening for them. Right. Or if you're hugging them, you want to see how they're doing, how they're responding to your touch. Like, are they open to it? Are they not open to it? Right. And you can adjust based off what you read from your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in short, coming back, like when you're touching your partner, first be present. Mm -hmm. okay? Be loving and open-hearted. Mm -hmm. And be, be attuned. attuned. See yes. where they are. Yes. And if you want to learn more about that, um, we offer a lot of fun, beautiful, deep exercises in our workshop so you can really learn to be attuned to your partner, to find your ground, to find your center. Mm. And yeah. to create touch that is loving and intimate. Yes.